In the lens, we will see what are the rules for image formation. The first rule, any ray which is incident and has a direction parallel to the principal axis will pass through the lens and intersect the principal axis at focus. This is uh, lens, this is principal axis. How do we know what is principal axis? The answer is this surface has got center of curvature at this point and this surface has center of curvature at this point. This is C2 and for surface number 1 this is C1. This we have already made that this line is, this is principal axis. Now if there is a ray which is parallel to the principal axis, parallel to the principal axis, then after refraction this will pass through focus it will pass through a particular point on the principal axis and this point we will call as focus this is focus there are two focus of a lens as we have done in the previous lecture. Now any ray which is coming from the direction of focus will become parallel. After refraction this will become parallel to principal axis. This is number two. So rule number one, any ray which is incident parallel to principal axis will pass through focus on this side and any ray which is passing through the focus after refraction will become parallel to the principal axis. Now third, there is one particular point here, any ray which is directed to this point will pass through undeviated it will not deviate from its path, it will remain on its path and that is this. This point is known as optical center. Optical center of lens. Okay. So remember these three rules, whenever we are doing refraction through the lens, we will follow these rules and we will try to find out where is the image formation. Okay, parallel to principal axis will pass through focus, coming from the direction of focus will become parallel. Third, which is directed towards optical center will go undeviated. In fact, if we see it very minutely, there is a slightly lateral displacement between the two because this is a slab. Now there is a lateral displacement, so, but that lateral displacement is so small that we can say this is the straight line, here is lateral displacement and this is very small, so we can take it as straight line for the larger derivations. So this is lens image formation rules. Now with help of these three rules, we will make images by putting the object at different places and that we will see in the next lecture. Thank you.